I found a cocoon on my cabbage plant and I grew it into a butterfly. At least, what I thought would be a butterfly. I took the little green chrysalis and put it in my little animal kingdom. I put it in a safe spot and the waiting game begun. But this got me thinking. I thought, if there was a chrysalis on the leaves, there might just be some eggs on the leaves too or more caterpillars crawling around. So I went back to my cabbage plant to take a look and what I found, instead of a caterpillar, there were tiny oval shaped yellow eggs on the leaves. You can see next to my finger, they are very small. I'm sure you can imagine when I found this, I ran to my other Animal Kingdom box. I sprinted in fact and got my time lapse camera ready to film the metamorphosis and the waiting game began. So now I had this little cocoon chrysalis and these little eggs, I didn't know what was going to hatch first. I checked out the beauty of the chrysalis. It had hues of yellow, green, white, and black with hints of red. And just so you know, it's the chrysalis that's the third stage of a butterfly's life cycle, where a butterfly makes a special house around itself and out the front door of that house emerges a beautiful butterfly. And as I waited, I thought the process would take no more than 10 days. But to my surprise, the very next day, I woke up to see the butterfly hanging from the cabbage plant. At first, I thought, wait, did a second butterfly get into the enclosure that I didn't notice? But then I saw the chrysalis was split open and I knew it hatched. When butterflies hatch, their wings are crumpled, tightly packed against their body, and they need about four hours to fully dry so that they can expand properly and the butterfly can fly. So I let her do her thing, and after about five hours passed, I noticed she peed on herself. But then I learned that once a butterfly is ready for flight, they will excrete a couple of drops of water from the tips of their wings and that's how you know they're ready to fly. This process is called gutation and it's an amazing phenomenon. But I guess that meant she was ready for flight. I tried to give her a little hand and use it as an excuse to become friends with the butterfly. But finally, she delicately crawled onto my finger and latched onto my nail. I admired her beauty and she made her first few flight attempts. It may or may not have been one of the best moments of my life. I was really excited. I sat there as I watched her begin to fine tune her flight capabilities and maximize her aerodynamic efficiency. And slowly but surely, her wings began to flap more and it seemed like she was getting ready to fly away. I wanted to keep her forever, but I hoped she would be my garden butterfly and remember me. I knew that I couldn't stop her from living freely in nature and getting all the pollen in the world from the most beautiful flowers. But what I knew was coming all along, the moment I dreaded but also longed for, she decided to fly. She took a moment as if she was saying thank you and goodbye and flew away into my cabbage plant, gracefully in the warm summer air. And full disclosure, I give full consent to this butterfly living in my cabbage plant. This all happened so fast that the eggs only had just two days to morph. So they haven't grown just yet and I'm waiting for those to morph into baby caterpillars, nine of them. But after this happened, I got a slight obsession with hatching tiny creatures into their fullest form and our little eggs still hadn't hatched yet. So I decided to go on a caterpillar hunt and I actually found a caterpillar that is now currently chowing down on cabbage leaves getting ready to morph into the next stages of life. I searched the leaves high and low and usually the eggs are or caterpillars are found on top or underneath the leaves but I couldn't believe I really found one. I also found a lot of other bugs that I did not in fact take home. Maybe another time. So make sure to come back for updates on our new caterpillar and our little butterfly eggs that have not yet fetched, hatched. But the butterfly that we did in fact hatch was not a regular butterfly, but a cabbage butterfly. They live in cabbage plants like cauliflower and broccoli, and they start their lives as tiny eggs. And once those eggs hatch, out comes an adorable caterpillar with a voracious appetite. They eat cabbage leaves, they devour them in fact, and then they find a safe spot to shed their layers and morph into a pupa. The pupa lays there for about 10 days and it changes dramatically into a chrysalis or a cocoon with an amazing transformation taking place inside. And then out emerges the beautiful butterfly. The chrysalis is the stage that I found this butterfly as sad as I was to say goodbye, I thanked nature for giving me more eggies to hatch and I'm really excited for the caterpillars to hatch in the next 10 days. The life cycle of butterflies, particularly the process of metamorphosis, is a remarkable and awe-inspiring transformation that I feel lucky I was able to witness. It serves as a powerful reminder of the cyclical nature of life, growth, change, 
and the deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness and resilience of nature. It's incredible how something so small can bring so much joy and life. I hope she comes to visit me. And just so you know, I'm really excited for those little eggs to hatch in about 10 days. And as you know, on this channel, we take the seeds from exotic fruits and grow them into full-blown houseplants that fruit. And now apparently also the channel that takes exotic bugs and assists them into growing into the next stages of their lives. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe, and remember that I love you. And I'll see you next week.